Victor. Artemis, October 20th, 1977. Most people in rock and roll seems to think that rock and roll died. But really, so much has come from that moment in time. You, as this, everybody knows the story, the plane goes down and you crawled to safety, got help. And uh, how many people survived that plane crash? 19. We lost Ronnie Van Zant that day, Cassie Gaines, Steve Gaines, and uh, the, the, the pilots and some road crew. Just up the hill in a little town called Gillsburg, Mississippi, ladies and gentlemen. We had the honor of touring, Colby and I touring this uh, site. And if you've never had a chance to see that site, we put a yellow ribbon around the tree that a lot of people call the Freebird tree. If you ever get a chance, it's a piece of history back there. One of the guys, um, Mr. Elsie, who, uh, uh, what's that? Dale Elsie? Helped us. He gave us a piece of the plane that went down. He was one of the uh, helpers that helped the people survive and get to the plane. We took that piece of scrap metal from that plane uh, with the help of Lane Gotro from uh, Lane's Custom Jewelry Designs, one of our sponsors. And we had a ring made. What's that? There's only five of these rings. And on the side it says Freebird N55VM, which was the tail wing of the plane. On the other side it says Gillsburg, Mississippi, 10 20, 1977. We are honored to give you Artemis Pyle, one of only five rings that has the Lillard Skinner logo. For you to always wear, I know you hold a place in your heart, that's a big chunk of your life. And now you have it in a ring. Truly, ladies and gentlemen, one of the last survivors right here. There you go. Say anything. emotions are real. But the, the music did not die that day because yeah. Ronnie Van Zant wrote songs that will last forever. Yeah. And in this room are the people that helped get us into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2004. Yeah. I never dreamed in my life of being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's not something I, I thought about. Not even but because of Ronnie Van Zant, Leon Wilkerson, Billy Powell, Alan Collins, Gary Rossington, Steve Gaines, and Cassie and Leslie and JoJo, our backup singers, because of them and the guidance and the leadership of Ronnie Van Zant, I'm in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I know a thousand drummers off the top of my head that are better than I am. And they deserve to be there. But I'm not going to give it back. <laughs> so that was really nice, Scott. Thank you so much. Man, you guys are the best. I, I will cherish this ring. So uh, how many fathers we got in here? So, tomorrow is Father's Day. Yeah. And uh, how many fathers in here that know you're a father? <laughs> okay. You are so, the baby daddy. My band, 
What about these guys? What about our band, everybody? These guys, they play Leonard Skinner music better than any band in the world. And uh, next month, in July, I will be 70 years old. All these guys in my band, in, in, in our band, they're all like 55. But they play the Leonard Skinner music with respect and accuracy and honor. And that's what we're about. And I want to bring out, my, in my opinion, Father of the Year for all the guys that I'm about to introduce. Please welcome, from Asheville, North Carolina, by way of Alabama, our lead guitar and lead vocals, Mr. Scott Raines, right there. As Gary Rossington always says, ain't he good? Yeah! Another nomination for Father of the Year, our lead guitar and lead vocals, Mr. Jerry Lida, right there. Living in Nashville, Tennessee, raised in Madison County, Asheville, North Carolina, on bass guitar, this gentleman introduced me to Dolly Parton. I got to hang out with Dolly for a long time, and I got to play a show with her, and <clears throat> it's all his fault. He played with Lori Morgan, he's going to be back in this area with Billy Bob Thornton, but he's our bass player. Mr. David Fowler, right there. We are so proud of all of our fathers. David is a great father and a man that has also raised children. We are so proud of our lead vocalist on keyboards, Mr. Brad Durden. He's a, he's a bulldog. He's from Georgia. Don't hold that again. Don't hold that against him. 